YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be super exciting because I am going to paint on this jar. I have never painted on the jar before so I am really excited to see how it turns out. It was empty and it was lying in my house and I am like why not? Why not should I paint on this jar? Now to help me with that I have this super clay. So these are supposed to be really soft really fun to play with basically air dry clay and i have some plan to do something on top like some actions going on and then at the bottom of the lid i am trying to do some dropping because i want to make it a chocolate jar because i want to put all the goodies in it now let's see how it turns out so i'm going to cut it it's so soft I mean wow so after playing it for a while we are going to take some out of it oh it's still really fun to play with it is a bit sticky though we'll need to take care of that I think this much is going to be enough well moving on to the point I am going to make a tiny Nutella jar for that I'll need to roll it now i am basically going to shape it after doing this much i am again going to take some brown clay and going to make head of it we don't need any glue to stick it because it's sticking with the other clay properly now i am going to take some white clay after making the circle we are going to press it so it looks like a lid i know it looks something weird but we'll need to trust the process then with the tools that are provided i am going to make some lines so it really looks like a lid now we'll let it dry and then i have this label of nutella and i'm going to paste it for now we'll go and move on with the bread so for bread i will again need to take some white clay then i'm going to make it in a squared shape now i know bread has a lot of textures so i'm going to do some of the textures i have this second brush which is stiff which will help me to do the textures and there we have the bread so now i am making a knife so we are going to make a gray color from mixing white and black this is like like the knife's base and on the end i am going to take some brown color so i have made the knife now i have kept everything to dry aside and we will start to paint this jar so with this gesso now i'm going to paint this whole thing gesso will basically give us a base to do anything and when we will color on it the color will come out very nicely so i'm going to make light brown colors i'll pour some white then i will take this dark brown which i have we will just mix it now i will take the jar i don't have any other option than putting it to my hand and then i'm going to do a dropping kind of thing i'll show you how i'll do that i'll take some color so now i have painted the whole jar so here are all the things which we have made they are dried and they look really pretty now it is the time for our lovely nutella jar 
so i'm going to take this neutral as label it will look something like this now i am going to paint this we had applied a gesso for the first coat for the base now i'm going to apply a lighter tone brown so now i have painted this whole thing with light brown color and I will place this all things over here. And done. I think it looks really nice. I will let it dry. So it is finally ready and it just looks so beautiful. I think I actually had visualized it to come out and turn out something like this. So now I'm going to put all the things, all my favorite chocolates in this. So first I have these kisses. it and it looks very nice i really think i did a good job i hope you like to watch the video if you like to watch the video please give it a big thumbs up like share and subscribe